you can do better for Jesus. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Ask your neighbor, what are your expectations as you have come today? What does your neighbor say? As you are taking your seat, ask your neighbor, what are your expectations as you have come today? Is your neighbor here to ask for the impossible? Hello. I had a wonderful week with our Father in heaven. He was, he was asking me to say, why is it that the people do not ask? Why do they see it as a challenge to ask for the impossible? When we say the impossible, the impossible is not only seeing God heal cancer, seeing God kill disease. The impossible can be anything. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, why are you afraid to ask for the impossible? Uh, what does your neighbor say? Ask your neighbor. Because I had a wonderful chat with God. We were talking. He said, many of my people are afraid to ask. When they look at the nature of what they want, they are afraid to ask me based on how they are. It has nothing to do with me. Meaning, I look at myself. Hello? And I said, this I cannot afford it financially. Hallelujah. And because I don't have the finance, I don't even bother to go to God in prayer and ask. Ask your neighbor, is that not you? <laughs> because I do not have the connection. In my mind, it's not worked out. I said, what is the point of me even asking? He said to me, my people do not ask. They do not. He said, glory is brought back to me when they ask and I give. He said, son, look at you. You have asked me for things that even people do not believe in anymore. I said, yes, Lord. He says, every time you ask me in prayer, do I turn you down? I said, no, Lord, you give me. He said, why is it a challenge for them to ask? Hello? There are sicknesses, diseases. As far as we know, doctor, they say they cannot cure it. But we have asked God here and we have seen him heal such ones. Hello. Yet when it comes to that house, that car, that apartment, to kneel down and say, Father, I'm asking for this, you see it as a robbery to God. Ask your neighbor why. You think, you are telling me, he says, they think it's pride. I, I said, I have taught them about pride. They don't know the true teaching of pride then. To ask for what you want. Ask your neighbor, what do you want? This is the mistake we make. The Bible says, seek me. Delight in me. I will give you all. Not some. Somebody say all. all. The desires of your heart. Ask your neighbor, what is the desire of your heart? What does your neighbor say? Eh? Ask your neighbor, what is the desire of your heart? He said, ask. I will give you. This is our father God. This is our father. He says, man's problem has always been to ask. He has always been to? He took me back. Do you remember King David? David had a wife. Or had many wives. Remember, in those days he was king. So as a king he could have as many wives as he wanted. The Bible says God was angered when David took the wife of Uriah. 
When God came to David, he said, if you wanted another wife, why didn't you ask? Why didn't you? He was asking the king. If you wanted another car, why didn't you ask? Why did you have to go and steal it? Meaning, we not asking has more to do with us than God. Everything we have, we know comes from him. Yet when it comes to asking for other things, we judge them and say, no, this one God won't do. Yet we call him God of impossibilities. That was the question the father asked the son. Why did you not ask? As he asked me during the week, why are the people not asking? Why are the people? He said, ask. I will give you the desires of your heart. Sometimes the desire of your heart may be to see your whole family saved. It may look impossible, but if you ask, you can get it from him. But we limit ourselves to say, I try to talk to this one, they don't want to hear. I try to talk to that one, just, just leave it. Tell your neighbor, today we are going to ask. If I can put it in a topic or a title or a theme of today's service, it will be a blank check. You know a blank check? Where the one who has given you the check has already signed and is telling you put the amount you need. It's where others now become humble now. So we are many here. If I take more, what about, they forgot they are talking to God without limits. That's what the Lord was talking to me about. He says many challenge is because the people don't ask. Everything that is happening in the ministry now, it's what I asked my father for. There are many things in this world that people have believed they don't happen anymore. They don't exist anymore. God does not mind what people think. He's asking you, what do you believe? Will you keep asking? Hmm? Jesus says, he's a good father. He's a good if you ask for bread, he will not give you a stone. If you ask for an egg, he will not give you a serpent. If you ask for fish, he won't give you a scorpion. He will give you what you want. He will give you. He will. If you say, Lord, please, I'm hungry, provide bread for me. He won't bring a stone and say, there it is. You will see what to do with it. He will give you. Yet we are afraid to ask why. Ask your neighbor. Hello? Why are you afraid to ask? You are forever seeing nice cars. Hello? Look, I'm going to share a bit about that. The danger, I was teaching somebody during the week. I said, the Bible says, I once taught you this teaching before that don't build your house on the sand. Build your house on the rock. Hallelujah. And I said to you, both the house on the sand and the house on the rock, they were exposed to the same things. But the house on the rock managed to stand the test of time. I taught somebody during the week, I said, sometimes we read Bible in our own way and interpret it according to our own understanding. The Bible says the rains they came. Hello? The wind, the storm. Rain is not only problem. Isn't it you are the ones who sing here? Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it. So meaning rain is a good thing. Rain is a blessing. Rain can be financial increase. It's not only problem. That's why many of you miss God when rain starts coming. Because the blessing changes your focus now. From him to the gift now. Even wicked people, they also get blessed. But their blessing inspires more wickedness in their hearts. Many of you, you could listen. Many of you could take notes. When the rains come, oh, tell your neighbor. <laughs> you think rain, when Bible said these two houses, one is on the rock, one is on the sand. When you think rain, you think it's problems. You. It's Satan. Rain is blessing. The letter rain. The Bible speaks of the letter rain. 
shall be more glorious. Hmm? When Elijah wanted to humble the nation of Israel, he took from them rain, symbol of prosperity and wealth. He said, there shall be no rain, no dew, except at the sound of my word. Now many of you today are trusting God for blessing. Why? Because when the rains came, you forgot about him. Ask any farmer here. As soon as rain starts now, September, hello? Farmers are rejoicing. They are rejoicing for the harvest that is coming. Many people, though you have built your house on the rock, when the rain of God's blessing comes, it shakes you. That's what we call rain. Not only trouble, difficulty, sickness. There's rain. Blessing. Connect with Prophet Samuel Paul Heaven on social media. Like, like us on Facebook. Search Heaven International Fellowship, Prophet Samuel Paul Heaven. Like, like us on Facebook. Search Heaven International Fellowship. Follow us on Instagram. Search at Prophet SB Heaven. On Twitter, follow us at Samuel P. Heaven. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, log on to YouTube and search Prophet Samuel Paul Heaven for live video updates of what's happening in your world, your nation and your individual life. Log on to YouTube and search Prophet Samuel Paul Heaven for live video updates of what's happening in your world, your nation and your individual life. Worship with the Heaven family every Sunday at 9 a.m., Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Join us every Friday at 9 p.m. for our overnight prayer. Our address is Plot 242 Merton Road, The Deer Val, next to New Hope Secondary School, Johannesburg, South Africa. For more information and for prayer line registration, contact the numbers on your screen or you can email us at info at heavenif.co.za.